to delete loose in Outlook is very easy. All you need to do is to make sure that you are at home. Then go to the move group. And here you are going to see loose. Click on the drop down. And from the drop down you are going to see two options. One create rule and another one called manage rules and alert. This is what we want. Click on it and that will open this window. So from this window, you're going to see this box here uh, that will have all the rules that you have created. In my case, I already have one. And just before you delete any rule, you'd want to first of all go through the rule description. To see the rule description, select on a specific rule or the rule that you intend to delete. And then down here, you're going to see the description. This will greatly help you to delete the actual rule. Like in my case, this was an automated message that was being applied after a message arrived to my inbox. This is if a message was only sent to me and I was replying using an automated message that was saved in this specific location. So when you are sure with the rule that you are actually deleting, just make sure that the rule is uh, selected and then you just come and hit delete. You'll be asked whether you actually want to do that, then you just come and say yes. For me, I'm not going to say yes because there's one more thing that I need to show you. Alright, let's assume for a moment that you don't want to delete the rule, but you actually want to edit the rule. So in, uh, when you select a specific rule on top here, as I've mentioned, you're going to see the rule description. In the rule description, you'll be seeing these links. Upon clicking on a specific underlined word or a link, it will help you to actually edit that specific rule. Say for example here, I want to change the automated message to a different message. So all I would want to do is to select that specific uh, message that specific rule and then I just come and click on this and I'll be taken back here and I can come and click the drop down say use a template in the file and I was using this before but now I can just come and use this I say open and that will be applied right now if I say apply and then okay uh, a different message from the one that was there before will be sent Hope the video was helpful. The video was all about how you can be able to delete rules in Outlook and still how you can be able to edit them.